Okay, now the next topic is forces in equilibrium. An object is said to be in equilibrium if the object is at rest, at rest, or is moving with moving with constant velocity in a straight line. So there are two situations in order to be equilibrium. The first one is if the object is at rest, and the, another one is if the object is moving at a constant velocity. Now let us look at this situation. We have an object. Here is the object, and the object is uh, hanging from the roof. As we know that the object itself has gravity. Okay. Um, okay. It has gravitational pull, weight. Okay. Um, So it has gravitational pull, right, its weight, and uh, the string itself need to pull it upward in order in order to make it in equilibrium. So this is we call tension of the string. So in this case, tension of the string equal to the weight of an object. Okay. The next thing is. This is an object, and it is on the table. So gravity pulls it downward. This is the weight, and at the same time, the table pushes in opposite direction. We call it R reaction of uh, reaction. We call it reaction because there is uh, a force in opposite direction with this the same uh, magnitude. So in this case, R equals to W. Therefore, the object is stationary. Okay, uh, the next situation is uh, this object on the table also. And then, there's a, fo a force pulling it. Force pulling it. And then, there is a frictional force. Okay, I put it as FR. So this is F. In this case, frictional force equals to force that pulls it. Okay, in this case, the object will move at a constant velocity. Because frictional force is the same as the force applied to the object so that it moves at constant velocity. Okay, let's say this is a wall. And then, and then, um, let's, let's, let's say this is a force pushing uh, a wall, and then there is another force given by the wall in opposite direction, and this is R also. Actually, in this case is the same as this case. Now let us look at example here. Okay, we have a pulley. Okay, and then um, there is an object. The mass of the object is twenty kilogram. It is hanging there, and then there is a force here which pulls in the other side. And then the question is, what is F? If okay, there are two equations here. The object move upward with constant velocity. So we need to apply uh, this one, this uh, situation. If in this case, F equal to frictional force, so the object will move in constant velocity. So we are going to apply that here. So in this case, force here must equal to the weight of the object. So uh, gravity pull is down, downward, the weight of the object. As we know, W equals to mg. So F equals weight, and weight equals mg, and mass is 20 kilogram multiplied by 
10 newton per kilogram cancel out kilogram so you get 200 newton okay for question b the object move upward with an acceleration of 5 meter per second so we apply a uh, second newton law net force equal to ma okay fn is net force so in this case the object move upward means that force is greater than weight so in this, uh, we can write f minus weight equals me because f is greater than w so that's why f minus w f minus w is 200 newton we have mm. calculated it earlier from here equals m a so f equals f, uh, f equals mass is 20 times acceleration is 5 so 5 okay this one you bring it here so plus 200 newton so the answer is 300 newton so this the force here should be 300 newton so that the object will move upward with acceleration 5 meter per second squared